In this video, we're going to take a look at the horizontal line test. Now, the horizontal line test works a lot like its friend, its cousin, its uh, however you want to put it, uh, the vertical line test, which, remember, the vertical line test tells us if something is a function. So the horizontal line test works in a similar way, except that it's going to tell us whether the inverse of a graph is a function. So let's take a look at how exactly that works and what we mean by that. So if we look in the middle right here, what I've done is I've graphed two, I've graphed a function, that's the red one, and then I've graphed the inverse of that function, which is the purple one right here, and then that, uh, dotted line through there, that's the line y equals x, which is what the um, function is reflected over um, when we have the inverse. And so we see how there's uh, some symmetry there. Now, a function, the vertical line test, we would look at the red one and say, okay, if we did the vertical line test, that would indeed be a function. If we look at the inverse, which is right here, and we did the vertical line test, that would not be a function. It would fail the vertical line test because that vertical line would touch more than once. Like if we were right here, it would touch there and it would touch there. So the purple one is not a function. The horizontal line test gives us kind of a fast forward rather than graphing the inverse and checking with the vertical line test to see if it is a function. We can start with our original graph there and instead do the horizontal line test because the horizontal line, if I bring my horizontal line down in here, that would fail because it's touching more than once. It's touching there and there and so the inverse is not a function and we saw that because right here it failed the vertical line test okay so if we look at that inverse now let's flip this here and we take our vertical line see how that one fails the vertical line test the horizontal line test gave us the ability to know right here that sure enough the inverse is not a function okay so there's the background of why we have the horizontal line test and what it can tell us so now let's take a look at these graphs and see if the inverse would indeed be a function well this one right here we already kinda did that one in the middle that one the inverse would not be a function and that is because it fails the vertical line test or the horizontal line test yikes the inverse would fail the vertical and we see that one in the middle on this one right here we notice that the horizontal line test even though it is kinda close it's fairly flat it's not gonna fail that it's only gonna touch it once here so the inverse on that one would indeed be a function okay because it passes the horizontal line test Let's go up to this one. Same story here. Sometimes people get a little uneasy in the middle. But what we know is that there is a little change there. It's not horizontal in the middle there. There's a little change there. So it does indeed pass the horizontal line test, which means the inverse would indeed be a function. And if we flipped it over, that y equals x line we would see that sure enough it would pass the the inverse would pass the vertical line test the last one right here going along we're good we're good we're good whoa okay we got a problem right here starting there it touches more than once so it does not pass the horizontal line test I apologize for my yawning. Goodness sakes, it's too late at night doing these things, but 
uh, I want to get this information out so that uh, you can help and I can help you uh, learn this stuff because uh, this is um, good stuff. All right, so horizontal line test. It's kind of the cousin of the vertical line test, which says that if we have uh, a line that touches our graph more than once, a horizontal line that touches more than once, then it fails that horizontal line test. So in this one, remember what that means is if it passes the horizontal line test, which means it only touches once, then the inverse is a function. Okay, so we see the graph of both the inverse and this one, so the inverse is not a function here, and this one it is a function because it passes the horizontal line test. This one is a function and this one is not. And we're talking about the inverse. Okay, so horizontal line test. Hope this video was helpful. I should get some sleep now. Keep working hard on your math. You can do this.